Okay, good morning, everyone. To put the targets here and stuff for QCOM. We're doing QCOM today. Uh, we have some trials here today, joining women, so we're not going to go over anything from the class. Uh, but QCOM is the best gap here today. We can do that another day. Uh, market is making new highs here in the gap in the morning. So here we go. Spy looks like it's headed to 250. Question is, is it going to do it today? I don't know. I don't think anyone is still in this Google option because I asked about it yesterday. And uh, that's a shame. This still looks lower, but again, I think everybody should be out of it. And IBM could go lower again today or rest, okay, but still is lower. So those of you that are in that, you gotta watch it. No, I, P, QCOM is the best gap today. I did look at everything else. No, I did not rate this. So, you could have rated it on your own. I rated this and it didn't rate good enough. I rated this and it rated good enough, but it's not as good as QCOM. So, uh, there was not as much to look at today as yesterday. Um, But you only need one good one. It's all that we need. Any quick questions? It's definitely it's going to be spreading though. So. Okay, just wait on this here. Okay. 
Okay, if you want to do, here, this is going. No, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it, I didn't even call it. I, I just, just wait. I want to see if we can get a better entry. You could have done that. I did not call it. I thought this dot was going to be a little bit too big. And for some reason, I think this might back up. Just wait here. Gosh, wow, I might be right. I didn't call anything yet. I mean, if you did that, it was valid. Oh my God. We might not be doing anything today. Wow. I'm not off this yet, but no one should be in this. Okay, let's do I don't have I don't have any entries yet or stops or anything. Stop is going to be 60. Let's do right here. Right here now when it breaks 55. 60, 60 is a stop. 60 is a stop. We can wait till it breaks 55. It didn't do it yet. That's what we want. 55, 60. For, basically, 54.99, you could do it. Stop 60. Oh, it didn't break it yet, but I'm in. Back. Let's give it 65. 65. If you didn't do it, wait till it breaks 55. Do 99 by 65. If you didn't do it, I thought it was going to break 55. Anyways, I'm in it. I'm in it, and if you want to be in it, great. If you don't, wait till it breaks 55, and then take it. That'll be the confirmation. And then we're going to, here. If you said so if you didn't do it, you could do it 99 by 65. Here, 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 here. Okay, waited a little bit today. Wouldn't have mattered much. But here, here we go. We're going to take it down to 54 if we can get a QCOM and out. Although I did say 54.50. Wow. Okie dokies. Okay, mark it at the new high. Ugh. All right, you know what? We have to watch 54.50. And we have to watch 54.50 because of the market. And in fact, let's just see if we can tighten up the stop here. No, just let it be. Just let it be for now. One push down, I think I'm going to take this at 54.50 because of the market today. If it bounces at all, here we go. QCOM. One quick trade in here. Market's at the new highs. And, and for one second there, I was thinking maybe we wouldn't do anything today. Quick trade. Quick trade in this here. Let's get it down, though. Uh, I don't think 70 is going to be something, but we'll see. 85. Here. Just here, 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 here. This is it. This is it. This is it. Market's at new highs. And I don't know what this does when it bounces. 75, 50. These are the numbers. QCOM. Crap, come on. We got to get it to break 80, though. Nope, it didn't break 80 yet. 81. I'm playing this really tight and short today, people, and it's because of the market. We're going to get out of this very soon. Here, here, here. Here. Here, here, here. Here. Cue come, cue come. Here. That's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, I'm out. Do whatever you want. 50 is the next target. Market is insanely bullish. Insanely bullish. And there's some guy drilling something. I think right outside my door. That's nice. Um, okay. All right. Here. 
If you really, really, really want to be in this, though, this could go to $54.50, $54 today. I just feel like the market is so bullish. I don't know if this is going to have the follow through. So one quick trading was done. Uh, Mark Mobile got out of half. That's okay. 61, I think, was a low. I mean, you could bar by bar it in here. Bar by bar, bar by bar, bar by bar it. Here, 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 here. If you're still in it. This actually breaks through 54.50. I think it does get to 54. But... This ended up going into it. This ended up opening way, way down more than I had originally rated it. So we kind of lost some of the target in, in, in where it was falling. Smooth Trader, did you actually press the button and it actually worked today? Congratulations. Smooth Trader did his first trade of his life after the class. Pyramid 490, you're welcome. Thank you, Melissa. Gator said he may be out early, but he's out. Yeah, I got out early today, too. Let's just watch this a little bit here. Is anybody else completely out? Well, it was two things. One, bullishness of the market. Two, it's a bouncy stock. Three, this was a good gap. It rated good enough, but it wasn't like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen, you know, like the IBM yesterday. So it was a combination of things. I mean, I guess that made me feel like to take a fast target today in this. <clears throat> and I really waited on the entries just slightly too, but I'm glad I did it. Journey Woman, good job. Shower Singer's completely out. Journey Woman's completely out. Barry's out too. Trader MRC got out at 54.66. Here, here. If you're still in it, the next target's 54.50. Who's still in it? Mark Mobile's still in half. Anybody else? If you're still in it, you're still in it. You're getting the, you're getting here. See if it here. It just broke fifty. Okay, let's watch it. Joe's still in it. Somewhere this is going to bounce soon. Nine thirty-eight into nine forty. That if you if you still manage to get if you still were in it and managed to get that last push down to the target of fifty-four fifty, I literally would, you know, you got you can't hold the whole thing. It's going to bounce somewhere. I mean, if I hadn't got out where I did, I would be out. I would be out before this. Okay, let's look at everything. So, market made new highs. Didn't go higher immediately. Tough spot here because, again, we just keep gapping up and running up every day. Don't know how we hold in here set up. Don't think we're going to be red. So, we either have a rest day or we trade down, hold, and then move higher in the afternoon. Um... We'll have to see what happens here. I didn't really look to see if there was any data out today. What happened with AA? Oh, this was a piece of crap. Good we didn't do this one. This one didn't work at all. Wow. Woo. Give myself a round of applause. We did the best one today. Nothing else set up. Nothing else even worked. Wow. Yeah, there was the bounce. Up to 80, but it's trying to go again. And right now in this moment, the market is not moving higher in this second. Um... But I still would have been out of this. So if I hadn't taken it out at 60, it would have been out at 50. I mean, this is, you know, the first target, basically. Which changed because I originally said the first target was 55. But like I said, it kept it kept going down when it opened, by the time it opened. Here, nice move for this. If anybody's still in it, you might actually get it all the way down to 54 bucks. Here, it's breaking a new low right now. You might actually get a dollar out of this if you're still in it. I had such a nice day yesterday. I had only one goal today, which was to make money, which I did. Here, Q come, Q come, Q come. Is Joe still in it? Dubaj is probably still in it. Be careful, careful, careful. 
CHKP, I didn't look at that at all before the open. Um, expensive, but let's look at it. Has the volume now. This looks weird. Is what it does. Pucon was a lot better, but this, you know, this is trying to go. Hasn't really gone yet. What was the other one people wanted me to look at? PTC, which I did not like and looks weird looking. Were there any other ones that people wanted me to look at? Wes? Um, I didn't look at this one either. This one is moving. Uh, you could have done this, actually. This set up. Wow, Qcom, good job. Good job everyone today. No matter where you got out, nice trade, beautiful fast move, hit it immediately, just did everything right. If you're still in this, you're getting it down to the next number, which is $54, and it looks like it could get there. And it could even get there before 10 o'clock, you're 33 cents away. So bar by bar it. If anybody's still in it, don't let it bounce at all in here. This did have this one bounce, but then it reversed itself pretty quick. Um, any questions for money money about anything? Things have been going so well. Um, you know, just very, very focused here. Does anyone have any other questions about QCOM? Or did anybody do anything else? Some of you are still in this. You're getting the last, last move in here. Definitely feels like earning season now. Wish every day could be earning season. <laughs> Except for the holidays. <laughs> Big fudge, you're not long IBM. You're making that up. You're seriously long the stock that we shorted yesterday? Have I taught you nothing? Did you not do QCOM? If you shorted QCOM today, why would you do any other trains? And why would you be long the stock? I don't think that's a good decision. I know it's green today, but you I think you know better. That's a bad trade. For a scalp. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. <laughs> That's a no-no. Um, all right, let's look and see what we have out for tonight. We're lucky what we had the QCOM today, because to be honest with you.